The Kilimanjaro sits at 5,895 meters or 19,341 feet of elevation. It is one of the seven summit of the world and it is the highest point in Africa. And today, it's our virtual run challenge. Let's go! Climbing this mountain has always been a life goal of mine and so since I was a child, but more on that later. Just before that, I wanted to give you a quick reminder on, in case you don't know what a virtual challenge is, it's basically a route that has been predefined for you before, usually going through some amazing landscape and very famous area of the world. So the route is predefined, it has a fixed distance and every day on your daily activities that could be either walking, running, cycling, swimming, anything you want, you're building up to this mileage in order to progress in the challenge and then go from start to finish. I choose to do most of my challenges with the Conqueror Challenges app and there are two main reasons for that. The first one is that they create a lot of milestone along the way. So while you're completing this challenge, you receive postcards that helps you putting you into the story of the event, the story of the area that you're exploring through this virtual challenge. But also every 20% of the way, you're contributing towards planting a tree. And basically you get a lot of mini goals within these goals in order to motivate you to complete this challenge even faster. But the second reason is this incredible community that you have behind the Conqueror Challenges. It's an amazing Facebook group, which is private for anyone who enters a challenge. And the community is exceptional. Honestly, there is no way of describing it. And we know that runners community are pretty good usually, but this one is even better. It is to me one of the easiest way to motivate yourself to run more. But today we talk about a specific challenge, which is the Kilimanjaro Challenge. The whole length of the challenge is 97.1 kilometers or 60 miles. And this extraordinary mountain is very famous because it is basically an association of three volcanoes. You get Shira, Mawenzi, and in the middle, Kibo. <laughs> I probably pronounced all those three words very, very wrongly. I apologize for that. It reminds me when in the previous challenge, I tried to pronounce the name of the three pyramids in the Giza pyramid complex. Um, and that was not good. The reason this challenge is very special to me is because when I was a child, I read a book. It was a children's fiction. I don't even know if this is true in real life. But in the book, the main character was describing this point that halfway along the ascent, you arrive to this point where you can see on one side Tanzania and on the other Kenya. And you can see Kenya as being more of a dry area, sort of a yellow orange landscape. And on the other side, there is Tanzania, which is more of a jungle. So green trees everywhere. And you can see this contrast in between those two from your unique point of view. And this image that I will describe it in the book just stuck in my head. And since I'm a child, I've always dreamed of being able to once to see this image. I don't even know if this image exists. Maybe it doesn't actually. But what I do know is that since I was a child and since I read this book, I've always dreamed of being able to climb Kilimanjaro one day. So doing this virtual challenge, it's also a very, very strong motivational boost for me since I have all this emotional background with this mountain, so to say. So now let's stop the chit chat and and let's dive into the proper review of this challenge and how it happened for me. I started this challenge with a challenge inside the challenge, so to say, because the first week of my Kilimanjaro challenge, I actually tried to do a week where I would wake up at 5 a.m. every single day for a run. There's an entire video about it, have a look at it, but anyway, but those were the first kilometers in the Kilimanjaro challenge. Let's go. This brought me 33 kilometers into the challenge and roughly a third of it. And just after this week, we actually went on a weekend with my girlfriend. We went to the bottom left part of the UK, which is called Cornwall. And I had amazing chance to run at what is called Land's End, you know, where the land end on the Great Britain Island. This was an incredible 5k that was also counting towards this Kilimanjaro challenge. <music> Thank you. 
That is why I love those long-term challenges like the Kilimanjaro challenge, because it does involve a lot of other challenges that I've done. For instance, the first week that I mentioned, or this run at Lance End, or the next one that is coming right now, which was the most challenging thing I've done in a long time now. I decided to run from my hometown of Banbury all the way to the biggest city, which is Oxford, along the canal for a run that was almost 45 kilometers, so slightly above the marathon mark. So let's put on the trainers and run all the way there. This big push in a challenge brought me only 10k away from the goal. And at this point, I must say that the postcard that I've actually received during the challenge were also a big, big contribution towards my motivation. For instance, in the first postcard you receive, you get a great explanation about the Kilimanjaro and about the five different climatic levels that you have from sea level to the top. This is super, super informative. And that's why I love postcards like this. It really puts your mind like you are in Africa, you are in Tanzania, you are on Kili, you're discovering all of that through the app. And also a great boost with the postcard was the second one when they described the Shiri Plateau. The description puts a lot of images in my head and I really felt like I was there, maybe partially because I really wanted to be there and also because they made a great job at narrating it. That brought me 10k into the challenge and I really had to finish the 10k in a very short amount of time. The reason for that is really, really obvious when you will see uh, the next video about the Hadrian Wall, because I really had to start the Hadrian Wall challenge into a a very specific location. And you will see that in the next review when I've completed the Hadrian World Challenge. And yes, this is a subtle reminder for you to maybe consider subscribing and clicking notification bell so that you get notified when a new video comes out. So maybe you won't miss the next review from the virtual challenge runs. Anyway, I had to do this 10k run, so, so when you're gonna do it... That is it, I conquered the highest point in Africa at least virtually, thanks to the Conqueror app challenge. I'm really excited that I could be part of this experience. And yes, it's not like climbing the mountain in real life. And I would love to do it in real life at some point, but I'm really happy that I could do this challenge. And I'm going to get this physical token, the medal, to remind myself that I did all of this. And this was sort of a first step to towards maybe one day climbing this mountain. Talking about medals, I have received a medal from my previous challenge, which was the Giza Pyramid Challenge. And I'm quite eager to open it. So if you want, I'll just open it right there and let you have a look of what this metal looks like. You're actually seeing it before me. Yes! Oh yeah, this is the first metal I've ever received that is actually um, that has like a movable piece, so to say. I think it is one of their specialty somehow, but I always wanted to have one of those and oh, I love it, so heavy. First, they make they make really awesome, um, I, don't, I don't know if this is called a ribbon, uh, I don't know, the, the thing that goes around your neck basically for the metal, they make really awesome ones. Ooh, look at this. This is nice. Yeah, there's even a, a magnet sort of like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, that was live. Uh, there's actually a coin, like, let me just fetch it. I mean, not sure if it's a coin, but it's sort of a token that actually leaves in the middle like this. <sighs> Love it. And that's the fifth one now, waiting for the Kilimanjaro one to come in. By the way, this will be reviewed in the next challenge, as is always the case, which in my case will be the Hadrian Wall. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It will help YouTube to know that you like this content and that it can be pushed to more viewers. If you want to join one of those challenges, I actually put a link in the description. It's my referral link. You will get 10% off, I think, maybe even more sometimes. It doesn't give me money back, but it gives me some discount if I want to buy my next challenges, which, by the way, I do all the time. I pay 
for my own challenges. This is not a promotional video by any means. I love the challenges, so I share them here. No one from the Conqueror Challenges app has reviewed this or seen this. They're completely independent from the project, and this is my own opinion of those challenges. Audiobook recommendation, because there is always one. The book I've been reading for the whole challenge is still Millennium Book number three, The Girl Who Kicks the Hornet's Nest. Super cool. It's fascinating. I mean, I have nothing else to say about this book. It's just fascinating to listen to it while running. I'll put a link in the description if you want to try. There is still a one month free trial with Audible. So you can literally subscribe, listen to this audiobook while you run, try the experience once. If you don't like it, you can sell it free of charge. Hasn't cost you a dime. But I'm ready to bet that you won't. Let me know in the comments what challenge you are doing at the moment or if you are considering doing one. Feel free to share this video to a friend who's on the edge of starting those challenges but needs a little push to go further, take the next step, and actually enroll to one. Also, if you are a running nerd like I am and you like to go on Strava and look at the runs of other people, I will put the link in the description about all the runs that I did in this challenge. So feel free to have a look at them. And don't forget that kudos are always appreciated. Meanwhile, thank you very much for watching and until next time.